So welcome everyone once again. And in this video, we will be starting with our practical sessions. So we will be making a Spring Boot application that will be able to publish any kind of message subscribed to the topic or a given thing. As you can see here, we have created a thing here and we are going to publish messages to this thing using our Spring Boot application. So let's get started. So first of all, we'll be making a Spring Boot application for that it's a very simple process. I hope you will be already familiar with how to make a Spring Boot application. I will be just creating it very quickly. The link to this code will be available on my GitHub account. You can check that out. I will just go ahead and add a web dependency and I will select the Spring Boot version as 2.5.6 and click on finish. So this has created a Spring Boot project for us. Let's go and check what all things are there in this project. Let me first refresh it. Okay, so we have got our Spring Boot project and we have got a basic structure. Let me run and check if it is fine with this application. So there is no problem with the build. It is running very smoothly. Now let me stop it. And we will be making a use of AWS device SDK jar for uh, making our project because that provides us a uh, basic libraries publishing and subscribing to the messages. So uh, we'll go to the POM XML. And here we will add one dependency and that dependency will be will be taking it from the aws git account so the dependency that we are going to use is aws iot device sdk java let me copy that in our application So this dependency is added. So currently this is the current version 1.3.9 is the current version of this. Now as we have added the dependency, let's go and make our changes in the application. So what do we want to achieve in our application? We want to send some messages to the IoT thing. So for that, how we will send the message or how we will trigger the message? Uh, for that, we are going to use a uh, REST API call. You, you can also use the command line runner for making that, but I am using a controller model where I will be sending a particular request and that request will be published to that particular thing. So let me make a controller class. So this is my controller and in this controller i want to give annotation rest controller now we will also be exposing one endpoint that will be a post mapping let me give a method name So what do you want to publish in this IoT thing? That you can pass it as a method body. So uh, for now, I will keep it simple. I will add all those things later. So let me bring a service layer into picture now. And our service class name, we will be auto wiring it. We'll be naming our service class as MQTT pub sub service. Let me go ahead and create this class.
and we will be creating that in a different package. So this is our service class and in this service class, uh, let me make a method that will publish the message. Right. Let me call this method from my controller class. So now our basic structure is ready. Now all we have to do is make the connection to this IoT thing and then start publishing the messages. So for making the connection there are different ways to make the connection. If you go to the documentation of the uh, AWS IoT device SDK, you will come down here and there are different ways of making the connection or initializing the client. You can use the certificate method and private key file method for making the connection. This is one way where we, you will have to provide all these details and then you will be making the connection. There is one more way and the easier way for making the connection and that is by using this WebSocket using MQTT over WebSocket and that is a pretty easy way for making the connection. Let's go ahead and do that. I will be separating this in a different layer so that we will be keeping our all the connection related thing in single place and it will be easier for us to maintain. So I will be making a util package and there I will be making a class which will be very common to all of it and I can use this connection anywhere wherever I want. So mqtt config this is the class I have made and in this class let me copy the code from here and I'm pasting it here now AWS IoT MQTT client that is coming from your IoT client now this these things the client endpoint client ID access key secret key and session token these all things we will be uh, passing it here we can pass it from the application properties but for simplicity let me pass it from here access key ID let me make it full screen so that you all can see it clearly so access key I will put it in some time and the secret key and the session token I will keep it null for now right now this thing we are getting as a deprecated still that will work I will show another method for connecting but for now let's use this method so the client endpoint from where we will get it we have to go to our IoT thing and go to the settings here and here you will get the endpoint just copy this and keep it in our endpoint the client ID so basically the client ID here will if you are not providing any client ID by default the client ID will be your thing name so currently our thing name here is uh, weather monitor right so I will copy this thing name from here and I will keep it here so AWS access key ID and secret key so if you are connecting programmatically to your AWS account you should be having this access key and secret key if you don't have it you can just you can just go and create your IAM account I will be going and taking my access and secret key from here you can directly go here and check your security credentials you will be able to see your access key ID here 
key, your secret key will not be visible. When you are creating your secret key for the first time, that time only you will be having that secret key. So I have lost my secret key. So I will be going and creating a new access key and I will be using that for connecting. So let me delete the existing one and create a new access key. A new access key has been created and I can download the key file and I can see the access key and secret key in here. So I will note it down somewhere and keep it for my future reference. But if you want to use it, it will not work in your account because I will be deactivating it after my demo is complete. So my access key and my secret key and this will give error because I have not kept that in any method. Let me create a method and in that method let me keep all these things. It will call my AWS IoT MQTT client and it will connect on that client. One problem with the MQTT is that if you try to connect again and again, the connection is still active and it will be getting exception. The client is already connected. So uh, we'll be checking if it is disconnected. If it is disconnected, then only we will connect. We'll do that in some time. Next. So this connection is done. Let's go ahead and let me print this connected to IoT and I will call this method from my service class. This is configuration class. And I will be making a call to this class. Now let me start this application and check whether the connection is successful. So one thing we have missed here, we have not given this as a service annotation. Now again try to start the application. Okay, so application is started. Now let me make a call to this particular endpoint that is publish and see what happens. So let me go to postman. Okay, so this is a post method. And let me send it. So the request is sent message published successfully we are getting and let's say in the logs what happened connection successfully established client connection active weather monitor and connected to IT. So we have successfully made the connection to IoT. Now our next step will be to publish the message to this IoT device.